Thank God it's Friday and truly we are pleased to have you join us today. This is Enterprise Friday reaching you from our headquarters in Lagos, Nigeria, Enterprise Television. It is. I am Henry Igubiki. In a bit, we'll be going to our newspaper headlines to see all that we have for you this morning. And in the GV would be our main conversation also for today. So while we get everything all sorted out for you and just for you, please be kind to belong to our community. Join our tribe, have a say in what we say. We are at Enterprise TV News.com and also like, comment and follow us on all our social media platforms at Enterprise TV 7. With me today in the studios to do justice to all that we have for you this morning, Emeka Madu Nago, journalist, public affairs analyst, and Cyril Abaku, journalist also, and the public affairs analyst. Good morning to you, gentlemen. Good morning. 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 Good 1,000 Naira to the litre in FCT and other states and the right here says supply on of a nationwide CSO Knox and PCL national oil company is silent on the top strip of the same newspaper we have um, uh, mixed feelings as inflation drops in July and also we have a um, flawed on the bottom strip that is a flawed 3.7 million Kano residents of 362 communities at risk and that's coming from Nema. Interestingly we have something the making rounds um, of course um, cascading across um, not just Nigeria but in the sub-region we have MPOX, federal government puts Abuja, Kano, Lagos, six others on high alert and we have it from the NCDS that says the Nigerian Center for Disease Control um, NCDC, sorry, um, uh, and Prevention on Trust, they said that uh, Nigeria had recorded a total of 39 confirmed cases of MPOX and zero deaths so far across 33 states and the federal capital territory from the beginning of 2024. The NCDC Director General, Dr. Jide Idris, who disclosed this at a press conference in Abuja, also said. The country had so far recorded a total of 5,951 suspected cholera cases, 176 deaths have been recorded across that six states and the FCT as of August 11, 2024. Emeka Madunagu, um, the, the numbers here uh, might look uh, quite small because if you compare it to our population, to over 200 million. Now, but when you compare um, the population of those infected with this to other countries, you see it's actually a very large number when you compare it to countries like Ghana with uh, with 30 million people. Um, I, I do not know. Do you think we've got enough um, healthcare architecture to help cushion this? And secondly, do you think we've learned from the bad fabrics of um, the COVID-19? Well, uh, thank you very much. I think... Uh, I must first pay tribute to the late Professor Oliko Ewanson Koti, who I think I'll describe as the father of primary health care in Nigeria. You know, his uh, dream was to take primary health care across the country so that, you know, they would be the first point of contact for people, you know, and then it would also enable government to be able to reach out to um, the farthest areas of the country, you know, in case of uh, things like this. And then also, I will also uh, say kudos to former governor of Lagos State, uh, Bartolome Fashola. He also did some work in terms of, you know, strengthening the primary health care centers in Lagos and really they did well. So I think if other states had uh, followed suit, you know, in strengthening primary health care, because it's under them, it's under their, it's, on, it's, it's, it's under their problem. Even over the years that, Taking steps to strengthen primary health care, you know, uh, we, we we would easily contain any, you know, such uh, widespread incidences. You know, I, I know that some states have also have well have made some strides, you know, commendable strides in terms of primary health care, but we must now be more serious about deepening primary health care so that. First point of contact, it at the first point of contact, at least it will be easy to isolate, you know, uh, severe cases and then control mild cases, you know. And then, of course, in terms of, uh, you know, Nigeria 
uh, a lot of people stream into Nigeria every day from different parts of the world, including uh, around Africa. So uh, definitely at our borders, we should be more uh, vigilant. Uh, we should be more vigilant. And then you talked about the COVID. Yes, not just COVID, even before COVID, we had Ebola, you know, and um, it was uh, kudos to the expertise. Interestingly, we were even in August, uh, when uh, I think, was it August 20 or so, when Dr. Stella Adadevo, mm. you know, when, you know, when she, 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 she sacrificed her life to save Nigeria from what would have been a devastating, you know, outbreak of uh, Ebola herself and uh, one other nurse and, you know, some other people, you know, sacrificed uh, their, their lives. You know, I, 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 I know of one nurse, you know, who mm -hmm. was also affected and mm -hmm. until now mm -hmm. she hasn't mm -hmm. had mm -hmm. a child. Mm -hmm. You know, she was affected. She was among that team that, you know, put forward their lives to help prevent, you know, a widespread outbreak. So, we've had, <clears throat> actually, we've really had, you know, enough uh, opportunities to, 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 to strengthen our healthcare system. Look at back to 1985 when we had, or oh, it's it, when we had yellow fever, you know, the outbreak, the government responded in that way. So, all you need to do is just let's continue to strengthen, especially basic healthcare. We we can we will continue. Then let's keep upscaling. Mm. We'll be able to take care of any of this of any outbreak. All right. So while we, of course, think of uh, upscaling and taking care of it in the superficial, I would love that we go into um, the crux of the matter here and take a dive to see what mpox is exactly the from the uh, center for disease control they say despite being named monkey pox originally the source of the disease remains unknown scientists suspect african rodents and non-human uh, primates like monkey uh, might harbor the virus and infect uh, people um the, the first human case of mpox was recorded in 1970 in what is known as the democratic republic of the Congo. Why does it look like we always, or the world, finds a way to tilt, you know, some of these things to Africa in the first place? <laughs> no, they, they are not tilting it to Africa. Mm. There is what in, in, in health and medicine they call endemicity. That's the word from which we get endemic. Mm. Let me break it down. When we say something is, is a pandemic, it means it's a global health okay. crisis. COVID was a pandemic. Uh -huh. But when you say something is endemic, it means that a particular region, right, has a propensity to have that kind of, you know, this uh, emergency virus like Ebola, a sort of endemic in the Congo African areas, right? Again, they, they came from the primate family, they, yeah. This monkeypox uh, disease looks like a tropical problem again. And then, Nigeria ought to show even greater leadership. Let me, let me, let me say so. In 38 years, the first case of monkeypox, now called mpox, in the thesis, was discovered by a Nigerian doctor here in Nigeria, in Bayasa State. I, I'm even surprised that they're not even talking. Because, the first case in Nigeria? Yes. He, he, the one, the, the case that has brought about the new wave, oh. he was, he was one that, that detected it. In fact, he made times uh, last year, right? Was it the election year or so? He only he and Tinubu made times list of most powerful, most powerful people that were taken from Nigeria. But you never hear of his name. You see what I mean now? And I'm wondering why government didn't think to build on the momentum that, you know, he came. Because now you, you read that it can be contacted with your exchange sweat. Mm, to the so. mm. He suggested, because the people he saw appeared to have contracted through sex. Yes, that was how doctors also dismissed him. But now, in the later, in the later, in the latest articles you read, they are adding that sex is also one of the means, of, because fluids are exchanged. But, but I think let's let's not scare Nigerians now, because of course we are still battling cases well, of um, <laughs> well, that's true. Is the outcome of scientific research. So it's so not so about I'm expecting doctors. that a doctor like this, even if well, we have the the NCDC, which is fine. I know sometimes we like to appoint people that we need to those places, but the Nigeria's Nigerian uh, mpox research effort by now should have been scaled up considerably with a man like this or anybody of even higher standing leading that effort. Because as if whenever there was a time when 
They used to come to N I N R Nigerian Young of Naima Atiaba. They used to come to take vaccines and other things from us. Nigeria was doing very well. When it comes to medicine and, and, and pharmaceuticals, we are very, very good. Okay, what has killed is, is not lack of manpower, human resources. What has killed is lack of government policy, lack of funding, lack of the determination to continue to to, to blaze trail in that sector. So, you, this is some now in the global com, uh, conversation. The only place we be end, Doctor Dinye or go in that that's that's the last thing will be that. The recent case was found in Nigeria, and that is, and that's also doctor was the one that saw it, saw it and, and, and reported it. But we only found it, or we, we are not in the front seat. We're not on the front foot, helping find the solution to a problem that was discovered or rediscovered on our soil. Mm. The same, I mean, and again, the man even went ahead to say, what are the by what I've seen, this thing appeared to have come through. Inter uh, intercourse or something, and it, uh, now they're adding it on the on the on the list. Even the doctor is missing back then. Mm. So why wha how is Nigeria medicine also taking this up as its own baby? To say we, we I mean, look, the point is this: whether this is philosophical or biblical, whatever it is, malaria mm. is endemic in Africa, West Africa, mm. Nigeria. You know why COVID couldn't? My my opinion. Okay. Why COVID couldn't go so far as the way it, it killed people in uh, Nicaragua? Is in Nicaragua and, and Italy? We are dying on the America also. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, and, and, and even America because here the name leaf, the this one called Dogoyaru. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, you know, when the uh, when the American CDC man came and said they should use a uh, hydroxychloroquine, mm -hmm. they, we just where the, where, where chloroquine they come from? They went to name leaf. Even the above opinion was saying it. They don't occupy survive COVID. You remember? Yeah, you know, the medical talk about training. Oh, yes. He said he mixed, he told us what he how he mixed a uh, what was black seed and a name liver and drank it liberally. He recovered. I can tell you for free that in the COVID hospitals back then, even Nigeria Tertiary Hospital, they are using two regiments to treat. Regiment one was the HIV and AIDS drugs. Uh, what Lidogravan uh, and all those things. The other one <laughs> was the so what they did was they checked the person based on history because it was the sickness that didn't have a cure. So even what we are just trying to experiment. experiment, which was okay. So we have the good, we had the good fortune of it, the, what, where I'm going is this: where it was found is not far from where it's cure, it, or so it should be. Mm. But we have abandoned it. Now what have we done? Short, shorten airports. Those are those are more like preventive, mm. all of the curative measures. Exactly. We are not. It, it, it shouldn't be beyond us. But you know what we normally do? Maybe we shut the airports and then we start to pray. I know that you depart. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, oh well. Um, of course, just like we know, it's a developing story, and we promise to give you minute by minute update on that particular case. But let's go to the punch newspaper for today. The big story: Ogun FTZ deal. Chinese firms that target Nigeria assets in eight countries. On the top strip of the same newspaper, we have harvest the season reduces food inflation to thirty nine point five percent. I do not know how true that is, though, but that's what's coming on the Punch newspaper. For the government eyes, a pension fund in a 500 million naira bond issuance. And also, um, of course, with the MPOX issue, which we had discussed earlier. Um, but let's go to this um, okay, court orders for feature of a um, mere a $2.4 million Lagos Delta asset. Uh, I, I watched that, it went uh, viral yesterday on the issue of um, um, Emir Fale. He has been in detention for a, a while, or his case in custody. custody. <laughs> yes, in custody, actually, you know, for, for, for a while now. And um, we do know Nigerians are beginning to lose touch of what is happening to that particular case. Is this becoming a, a, a case of um, um, direct, the direct uh, 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 a target on a particular person that the government seem not to like so much, Mecca? Well, the, that uh, aspect has been raised, um, political persecution, you know, and um, well, but so far he has been represented by competent uh, lawyers. And uh, I think if such existed, in reality, it would have been, they would have raised it. But be that as it may, I, I think we should allow the law to run its course. Then if, uh, like was said some time back, that he is, that uh, his lawyers have been, uh, have thought of, 
you know, a negotiated a settlement, you know, if, if it comes to that, perhaps, you know, it will, uh, things will turn in that direction. But what I do know is that, you know, the focus on Emefiele, you know, appears to be actually somewhat, you know, uh, inordinate. It's, it's, it's unfair, really, because there are some other, there are, there are other governors who are headed mm -hmm. Central Bank. I will not see this focus on them. Mm -hmm. We've not seen this, you know, desperation to, you know, uh, destroy their image, you know, and make it look like, oh, he was the worst. People, you know, I mean, equity. He who comes to equity must come with clean hands. Those persecuting him may fail and looking away from billions of naira of cases, you know, still hanging here and there, being persecuted for many years should by now be embarrassed and ashamed enough to stop this perfidy. Let it go across. At least one of the people <laughs> accused of corruption is in this government. Some others have cases like that here and there. Nobody is running after them. Mm -hmm. But what we see is this desperation, this desperation to, you know, to, 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 to bring a mafia to book. Why? Because it has been said that he stood against the ambition of Paula Metinibu to become president. What do we have today? But well, let me tell you something. Like I have been in this profession for over for over 30 years. So I've seen that all of this is just a game of musical chairs. Mm -hmm. You know? Yes. Another government will come in and start its own set of musical chairs. But well. After all said and done, Timmy Perceiver, after all the hula ballo about Timmy Perceiver, wasn't when the 48 uh, houses initially ceased for while they returned to him. Like uh, fella, uh, like the great uh, fella would say, second base, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> now, Nigerians, of course, um, when it comes to this particular case, um, the common man on the street, of course, um, you know, uh, uh, bed the brunt of Emir Fele. Truth be told, there's no apathy. <laughs> you know, going yeah, by yeah, 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 yes, yeah, yeah. going by what they they they, yes. they, 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 they felt. But yeah. is that enough reason to single him out at this particular point and consistently, um, you know, bring his uh, his his food uh, to the fire? You know, you've asked me two. I don't know whether you're aware. You've asked me two questions, so I'll answer the two. All right. I'll answer the two. The Mefile debacle. I agree with um, Mr. Madunago that, frankly speaking, he is not the worst of them. Somebody like um, the Hadi uh, Sirika uh -huh. brought Nigeria into even greater program in the community. Do you know that the Ethiopian uh, Airlines CEO that entered into that ignominious deal with him resigned immediately? <laughs> yes, he resigned. That's just a country that have something to keep. Ethiopia's sole Ethiopia's ambassador to the world, Ethiopia's major revenue earner. Ethiopia's signature in the heart of, of men, Ethiopia's access as a soft power in the world is, is one, all of those is just one thing. Ethiopian airlines run professionally. That's all that they have. An airline company, which anybody can have, frankly speaking, what's great about, about, about Ethiopia? But you see, because it matters to them, the man resigned on his own in Nigeria. So it, I, you know, I can't understand why. Why wouldn't they count us as state sponsors of fraud? Why are we looking for people for 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 fraudsters to arrest? When when the government itself is the major, is the is is will conceive, will hatch and execute fraud against itself and against its people. Sirika, as far as I'm concerned, is working free. I don't see anything much happening. But let me leave Sirika. Let me come to your question. What Emefiele did was not criminal. To the, because I, you know, I said you, you asked two questions. They, they, which made Nigeria suffer? They, neither, it, it was a criminal thing he did. Okay. It was by law. You can't prosecute him on that. He was only following the law. Okay. And, there, and there's no way it's written that when, the, when that law was, is being applied, in one, that, that, when that, that when policy is being applied, if anything happened to people, that government will bear the consequences, There's nothing like that. If they say, now let's go and do our NIN registration afresh, you will go if anybody had an accident and died, it's not government liability. But on the moral side of things, we feel immediately 
you know, did us bad. So that to that extent, there's a moral now. But his prosecutor, which is the matter on the table, so that we, so that's the second question. Is the fact that if you want to prosecute him really for corruption and fraud, ah, uh, is he? What, what did he do? What did the do? You know what the cynics are saying is that one, you know, he's a southerner, okay, and two, he's a minority southerner. I hope you're not you're not panning the towards um, uh, that that sort of uh, narrative. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's true, but it's right. Yes, let's put all the things on the table. You see, let's stop pretending. Let's put them on the table so that we can see eye, eyeball to eyeball, and then I don't, we tell ourselves yes, the truth. I, I personally don't. But like why do we it. pretend and see if tribal yes. tribalism is yes. a major killer yes. of this country? There's no there's yes. no hiding right it. Yes, on the back of it. Mm. It's class games that they're playing there, right? Like, like, say, you put it very like the musical chairs, yes. But you will be, you are easy, um, you are easy lamb to be slaughtered when you're minority, yes. Try about bigotry, yes. That's when, it. When, 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 are you, you know, the what they said, we even had that it was the president's personal assistant that ordered the Mifi to do, is it the narrative or something? Yes, no. No. now the president's P gave the CBN governor an order. Where is that president's PA? He has run away. And he has not run away. They have run away from him. They cannot go and arrest him. And there is no way you will investigate him even that you won't bring the former president into the picture. Because he was, he, he, because he's like he's been there, done that kind of thing. And they touch him. Yeah. No, after, after once you left off the section, until he does not hold, does, he's, he's, he's no longer binding on you. Is yes. that? They can't touch yes, him. Once you've left office, they can't touch him. They can't touch him. Can touch him. In fact, while you are a sitting governor or president, you can be investigated. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But not you can be arrested and prosecuted. Oh, okay. Yes, you can be investigated. You know, our, our, our country is funny. It is the reason our institutions are weak, weakened, and almost dead. So that even policemen. Uh, you know, like Stalin carried that chicken. Joseph Stalin in, in Soviet Russia took that chicken and started plucking off its uh, wings in front of the people. Took off the wing, the, the feathered it, and, and started giving it to the chicken. Went anywhere Stalin went. So that's how I treat the people. You be, well, when I mean the people, they mean everybody under you. Institutions. Stalin, I mean, okay, so, 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 let, me, let me not digress, but that, that's why we are so. Police are not, they are all begging for survival. How can they now be monitoring and, and saying, say, don't investigate? Investigate who? In a civilized country, the police should be under the judicial, not under the executive of government. Don't we sit, 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 sit in America? You have the DA's office. All police issues come to the DA. The DA may be attributed to the government in a measure, but more to parliament. Wait, well, you're not ready to build a democracy. I, I expect the result that big countries get. You will not get it. So you may feel, are they, are they persecuting him? Certainly, yes. But maybe again, because there's evidence. I mean, I mean, I can't sit here and say they shouldn't do do, do 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 what they ought to do. If you put it in a cookie jar and, and there's evidence that they handle and and we have the what's it called the dregs of 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 biscuit, please go to jail. <laughs> yes. All right. So um, just before we wind up for today, let's quickly go to the Guardian newspaper for today. The big story here says um, uh, rings and repeat in Nigeria awaits Los Angeles Olympics. After Peru is a nine billion <laughs> naira. Sorry, 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 sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, no, he's good enough to to chuckle. <laughs> it's a Friday, gentlemen. It's a Friday. It's a Friday. They are high in Los Angeles. Yeah, no, um, and, and I think that's the biggest uh, story here, and it's important that we dwell well on it. On the image there, we have lots of um, you know sporting activities that we participated in 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 Paris, and of course we didn't win nothing out of them. Now, gentlemen, let's let's look at this. Um, it seems to us uh, Nigerians that all we do is to go and fill in the blank spaces. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Because it's on record, you know, for a very long time. Nigeria has, has never won anything for a very, very long, long time. And now we are in Los Angeles in a couple of years to come. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being ambitious. Even mm -hmm. uh, uh, after uh, uh, all, uh, uh, it's on record that uh, the, father, the father of the <laughs> former governor, mm. of, his, you know, of the former governor, you know, when people were saying, oh, that he had performed poorly in his first time, that he should do the Voted for a second time. The father said, ah, that 
when a child fails the class, you allow the child to repeat the class. Mm. <laughs> so, you know, that there's nothing wrong, you know, with um, allowing the son to get a second time. So, let's bring it to this. I mean, instead of saying, oh, we need to address the, you know, the deficit, the deplorable uh, results, what are we doing? We're just trying to wish it away. That is what we usually do in Nigeria. We wish issues away, we wish problems away, we wish challenges away, you know, hoping they'll just somehow evaporate into thin air and then we can move on. But you know what? If we don't get serious, like serious countries are, we will continue to move around and around and around, you know, moving around in circles without mm -hmm. getting anywhere. Yes, because uh, Chonwa, uh, Cho, um, Choma Ajumwa was interviewed, and she made it very, very clear. She said, the reason we can never achieve results is because we have the wrong people occupying the right positions. Mm -hmm. Now, let me list out a number of Nigerians who represented other countries. Yemisi Ogundeye, Germany, she won um, a medal there. Salwa Eid mm -hmm. Nasser, mm -hmm. represented Bahrain. That was, won, that was not her original name, but that's an Igbo girl. Mm -hmm. Aneta, <laughs> Echuku, Nwoke, mm -hmm. USA, Michael mm -hmm. Olise, and so on and so forth. These are people who go to represent other countries and they come back home to their host countries with medals. But do you but remember, do you remember Faila Tokukoya? Yes. You know, said they mm -hmm. the Ezinwa brothers. Uh, name them who were actually in American schools but chose to represent Nigeria. Why? There was that. <laughs> there were, at least the sports administrators gave an idea that yes, they were ready to you that they were that these guys were treasure, were treasures, you know, for Nigeria, and they were willing to use them to achieve the aim. And we achieved it. But when people have this like an attitude, you know, you've heard about nine billion now. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to do a forensic audit. Where did that money go? Mm -hmm. Nobody. That is what. That is where the whole thing should even start from. Yeah. Do a forensic audit of the nine billion now. Let's begin from there. So that if anybody took more than what he or she was due to him or her, mm. the person should uh, refund it. I'll okay. finish trial. So let's let's distill this issue. Is this the, the reason we were um, middleless? Is it mm. because of the lack of proper utilization of the nine billion? Or is it a factor of um, this thing that we do not know, the imaginary thing that surrounds Nigeria that makes it difficult for athletes to bring back? No, no, no. It's, 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 it's the first. And it's not just a 9 billion era issue. It's about our philosophy of sports. It's about our approach. It's about administration. Let me just give... Annette and Jukuwoke had come to, first of all, represent Nigeria. It was... People say... That's where they put it. This same... Rigmarole and mediocrity was not forced her to go to the business America. At the last games, they didn't register her like people were feeling. She said, okay, if you want, then let me go back and look at what she's in for America. Annette was in Nigeria to represent us. You will imagine us competing in cycling, rowing. I mean, it, it, it's the face of fraud. Do you know why? It, it's the face of fraud because those are not sports that, that, are, that we are known to be uh, have competitive advantage mm. all over the world, right? The black man has succeeded in a number of things. Ja the Jamaicans do well in the sprint. Mm. Nigeria also does very well mm. in the sprints. And we have a track record of performance in the sprint. Mm. Choma Ajumwa, Falila to Gunkoya, Hidu Mere Haili. They all did very well. So those are areas that we, that, 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 that we build strength in. Combat sports like boxing, football. Mm. We, we won gold in those areas. So we should rather have control. No, the wait, 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 I'm coming. Yes. I'm coming. They won't do it. Show me that you're talking. She, she went to the Ministry of Sports and they didn't know her there. She, they were asking her, who, 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 yeah, excuse me, do we know you? Show me that that won Nigeria's first individual gold at the Olympic Games. They were asking her, who was she? Who, who she was? So she jokingly told them, I will find you, I will find you. And she left. Why should she be happy? Oh, yeah, but I not play football with Austin Jojo Kocha. Along with uh, this coach that left Chelsea last season, what was what, his name now? Mauricio Pochettino. Mm. They were all players on the you know in the uh, on the same team PSG back back back, back in the day. Today, Guardiola is a coach. 
in Nigeria, you, you, you they will hardly appoint an ex athlete or sportsman to be minister to be to be minister of sports. They won't do it. Even the ministries, there are no core technical hands there. They, they, even the federations, they, it is it is our friends and brothers that they bring them put there. And you tend to win to to go. For, you won't go far. There are a lot of under under underlying issues. Those who have done with the nation proud are not allowed to come back and give back to the system. How then do you progress? So we were in Great Britain. Lord Sebastian Co had been an athlete who won everything that could be won on track. He won. In fact, they say he won. Now later on, he, he became a politician. Went to the House of Commons, I think. Then later House of Commons and so on. He has progressed. What what kind of sports? Committee, do you think or sports, whatever, do you think he put together for Britain? And that's what I do. But before now, there was a year Nigeria finished ahead of Britain at the Olympic Games. To close my thoughts, 1996 following, right? Okay, let me even go to 1990. We were in, in, in Barcelona 92. Nigeria did, did well at the Olympic Games. That same year, in uh, Senegal 92 at, the Af at, at AFCON, we came third. Something was built because the football coach, the national team coach back then, was reporting directly to the vice president. I come on. So he had everything he wanted. Good. Now, 1994, Nigeria went to the AFCON, won gold. Then, the year later, at the Olympics, won gold again in football. Right? And then our athletes did, they, they were blistering. Falila to Gunkoya, Choma Ajuma, Miriam Yali. You know, they all did very well. People like Obikwe were coming in, in the wings. People like Gloria Lozie, Franz Obikwe, and Kou were coming in the wings. By CB 2000, our four by hundred went. I think they won silver and 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 then later gold because they disqualified somebody. Who, um, yeah. Then you know you, you know what happened. Alonzo was engaged to be married. Her fiance was on the reserve four by four hundred in Sydney. He died in an accident. Oh. Nigeria disowned him. They didn't fly him back to Nigeria. And Alonzo now went around and won one silver. Maybe she had one gold. She won silver with that pain, losing her fiance. And then the fact that Nigeria said they, that they did not, you know that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Then Obikwe will develop the knee injury, and now to go to Canada to treat himself because the AFN said he was lying about the injury. Somebody's kneecap is broken or torn, and oh. he cannot run again. He came and told you that he has a problem. You didn't test. They said he was lying about the injury. The brother just Twitter and went to run for Portugal. The following year, in 2006, do you know what, what he gave Portugal? He he he, made, he became the first person, the first. Uh, athlete, I think, to win gold in both 100 and 200 meters for Portugal. For that is in Europe, in, in, in dream yes, <clears throat> in Europe. I was it who did well for Spain. So, when people did, uh, or Philip, maybe they will beg and keep because, because in Tokyo, the last Olympic Games, he was not registered to run now. In because, and because there was no punishment in uh, Paris again. Uh, but, excuse me, how do we do this? You want to start a person to run. How do you even explain this? <laughs> and the minister said, this, the, the point is this, the Olympic Committee, but do you know that the Olympic Committee bought its own set of kits for the athletes? The minister bought, bought its own kits for the athletes. How? Uh, <laughs> 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 well, this uh, issue is uh, peculiar to us. In Zimbabwe, for example, they <laughs> had about <laughs> they, 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 And possibly we would win all goods in all the events that we would uh, <laughs> participate in. But that's my desire, and that's our hope for Nigeria. So uh, I would love to say thank you, Omega. Thank, 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 thank you so much for Thank you as always. And so uh, when we return, Nigeria opts for a settlement with Chinese firm after French court offers a seizure of three presidential jets in major diplomatic embarrassment. That in a bit, please don't go anywhere.